Howdy, Wow, Russ here, and Chris, and we're together. So all the tension that we had, we obviously we made it. We made it. I mean, we love each other. I love this guy. I love that guy. That one. So we made it through the whole trip, three weeks, starting off with tension, doing all the rushing about, running about, and ended up making it to the Black Hills after the White Hills. We're about to go in a tunnel. Miners Gateway Tunnel. We don't have a whole lot of time. We're just gonna drive by it. We're not gonna really go up and see it. You can see the head sticking out there. See that? Oh, here are mountain goats. How's the chiggers that were on your nuts? Are your nuts healing? They still itch. Your nuts still itch? Are you sure they're chiggers? Mm-hmm. Are they related to crabs? They are arachnids. Oh, so you got something like crabs on your nuts. So do you. There's Black Elk Peak. It's the highest natural point in South Dakota at 7,244 feet. We almost stayed in this town called Custer. We were thinking about it. I was like, no, we, we have to go to Deadwood. I like it in here. I do too. It ain't too bad for me. See, I think I could totally live in something like this. Do you think you could live in something like this? Yeah. It's good for me to let him make the decisions. Cause sometimes. He's, he's better, sometimes. you're a better decision maker on things. Sometimes I am. Chris and I are going through Deadwood. We got a hotel at the Franklin and we just have enough light to kind of show you the downtown. This is cool. This is cool. You glad we went here? Yeah, that's why I let you make the decision because you usually make pretty good decisions. Oh, look, there's a brick street. I love that. That's our hotel. This is awesome, huh? Yeah, this is cool. Well, it's definitely room. That's our view. And I might get a little drunk because we have a place to crash afterwards and a place to shower and high five. It's cool. We got air conditioner as you can hear it. Sit down. This is the end of the trip. Last night away. <laughs> and our first time in an old historic type of building too. I like how the ceilings are tall. Yeah. At eight o'clock was when there was this ghost tour and we had already missed <gasps> oh, it by an hour. We so, missed the ghost yeah. tour. What else is down here? <laughs> what about it? There was something crawling back there. There was. It's good now. Supposedly there's ghosts here. Is that what it said? This is part of the ghost tour. Oh, so there's something here. If you're here, please just do something. While Bill was shot here, do you think anybody else died here? I could totally see someone being murdered down here. We gotta make the ghost tour next time. And I don't gamble. And you don't gamble. I guess we're gonna go get our first drink. This shoot. IPA to shoot. I really like this door. We got a picture of it. So that was our hotel last night, the Franklin. We stayed there. Teddy Roosevelt stayed there. John Wayne has stayed there. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. John yeah. Wayne? 
Wasn't it John Wayne? No. Maybe not. Never mind. <laughs> I think it was just Teddy Roosevelt staying at the Franklin, and so did Babe Ruth. The lobby was fancy. Our room was not really fancy, but for $50, it, it was, was still nice. nice. Yeah. This is our last morning away. We go back to the bed and breakfast tonight. Sanford Underground Laboratory. You can definitely tell that Lead and Deadwood are, they feel like the same city. They have grown together. Solid. Hi there. Hello. Hi, how are you? We have to put up 90 chairs, but I don't want people to be in the sun. I think they'll croak today. Oh, uh, yeah. What's, yeah. Going, what's going on today? We have two big tour buses coming. So. Ah. How deep is that thing? 1,250 feet. 1,250 feet. Wow. One billion gallons of water treated annually. Do you have any clue this was here? I had no that idea. That there was this, was this big science lab underground here. What are they doing down there? Studying neutrinos. What are neutrinos? Little subatomic particles. Once again, you could spend a lot longer here and we have to get on the road. That's really pretty. That's cool, huh? It is pretty. Chris and I are going to Devil's Tower. Devil's Tower. We're here. We actually did it. We're going to go and actually get closer. Yeah. So you want to do 1.3 miles? Yeah. I'm so glad we did this. Guess what? We've been here. Yeah, we've been here. It is cool. I would come back here and camp. It's pretty all around too. Yeah. It's just a gorgeous state. Out of all the traveling we have done, I tend to like the states that have national parks and public land because I'm not a rich mother effer that has a lot of land myself. I don't care if someone's Democratic or Republican or whatever, it's just public land is awesome. We need to protect our public land. There is at least one climber up there. I see him with binoculars. He's on the right hand side, down God knows how many hundred feet. <laughs> There's three climbers up there that we see. It's crazy, we can't really show affection for each other. When there's this many people, well we could, but it would make me feel uncomfortable in a place like Wyoming. In Austin, I still felt uncomfortable, but it would have been okay. Yeah. People would have said, oh, I don't care. They've seen that, seen that before, who cares? We will have put 6,000 miles on this car. That's crazy. We're about 30 minutes from our house. 25 minutes. Every place has beauty. Every place we went, we found beauty in Colorado, definitely. I loved Colorado, it was so beautiful. Um, New Mexico was very beautiful. Texas was very beautiful, Alabama, Mississippi, but I love this part of Montana. Yeah. And once we're getting closer to home, you really see we are lucky. We are very fortunate. We're going down our street. We have our house. I didn't get sprayed. You almost got sprayed by a skunk. No. I came up close to him. I thought he was going to be a cat that the birds were, that the magpies were, but it was a skunk. <laughs> we are almost unpacked. We got the car unpacked, but now we have to like organize everything in the house. Shortly after we got home, Chris went downstairs and he noticed the water heater was leaking everywhere. There was water on the ground. We changed the hot water hose. We thought it was going to fix it, but it did not work. So we had to end up sweating pipes together. We got all the water cleaned up, there was no damage. We live in an incredible spot. Yeah. And we have national forest all around us and we're close to Yellowstone. And you don't have that in the in a east. a lot of states. Like the southeast, there's not that much protected land. There's a little bit, but there's not that much. Yeah, Alabama, even though it's super diverse, has the least amount of protected land of any state, according to its size. And it's yeah. kind of sad, depressing. Sad, because it's a beautiful state. There's a lot of cool stuff in Alabama, but and it's it, not protected. It makes me feel like when I go to Alabama, that there's no country. I don't feel like I can ever just like drive through a national forest. I always feel like it's someone's property. Are there any stretches that just don't have freaking houses? And there's a few, but not very many in Alabama. Mm -hmm. This is the last of four vlogs of our three week trip. And I'm so excited to be done with them. I had too much footage. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. Thank you to all the YouTube fans and subscribers. And thank you to our Patreons. It means everything you support us. It actually does make this channel possible. So thank you all again. Yep, it made it possible for us even to get away from here. So thanks. If you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. We want our subscribers to go up, 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 up. Why Russ? And Chris. Love, Love you a long, long time. time. That is What's the next one we need to film? What's the next one? What's the next one?
Actually, we're gonna be filming some reaction commentary videos, hopefully soon. Because the people have spoken. Because we have opinions. We have opinions.